Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is going to be about my uh, 8237 DMA controller card. And this uh, card, if you've seen my previous videos, is the add-on DMA controller card for my modular project. Uh, so, in my previous video I showed modifying an existing card that I had made to make it work uh, better and this is the modified version of that so there is no there's no removing of pins or soldering on this one this is the completed card so as you can see I'll just kind of go over the whole thing you've got your uh, DMA controller chip here the uh, 8237-5 now for my project, it needs to be the dash five because this uses the ISA click pin. And uh, so that's at 4.77 megahertz. The standard 8237 is three megahertz. So they, they won't work. Anyway, you got your, your latch here for the upper address. So this basically, you know, it flashes out the upper address, then it puts out the lower address and then the data. Um, over here we got our index register and it's the uh, 74LS670 and that's the exact same one that was used on the IBM PC and it's wired the same way. And then I've got my inverter on here, the LS04, it's still used for um, a couple of things. And then I've got a LS139 and this is used for decoding the uh, for the index register there got uh, the resistors uh, one of these is pulled uh, connected to DR DRQ0 and so DRQ0 is not available uh, well it's not available anyway it goes through the system timer and it's used for memory refresh so there, therefore the refresh pin is not available on this card I, I made it that way intentionally I don't use DRAM and so I don't need to refresh it and I didn't want to have any uh, issues with that being connected. Got another uh, pull up or pull down here. I can't remember right off. One of the pins on here, uh, it says, it, you know, it's got to be connected through a resistor. So it is. And then I've added the 27 ohm resistor that I showed in my previous video for the clock pin. So the clock comes off the bus and comes up and runs here. And I just run it through the 27 ohm just kind of keep it uh, where it doesn't get too much noise on the line. Then I've got my uh, decoupling capacitors on every chip. Seems to make a world of difference to have those. Um, then, I mean, I've got my bracket. This is just a Keystone 9202. And uh, it's just a blank bracket. Um, they, they're still widely available. So it's one that I've been going with. They, they do have other brackets that have this, the attachment screw up higher. But these are nice, you know, I don't, my board's not that big anyway, so this one's great. So anyway, uh, I'll show it plugged in booting here in a minute. I, let me just swivel the camera here. So this is the, the board, if you haven't seen my videos. So you can add it into the board. You've got your processor, your memory, and you just plug this into the uh, slot next to the processor for the uh, so if you want to use it so i'm going to pause this i'm going to show actually booting up like with a floppy drive okay so i've got it here in my case i just moved it here because this is where my io card that runs my floppy drive is um, you can see i've got it connected up here this is the the actual new one and then I mounted my floppy drive here in a hard drive bay and it's ready to go. And this is a actual 8088. This isn't a V40 or a V20 and it does work just the same with either one. Get this into focus here.
You can hear the drive spinning. Now you can use check it to check the uh, DMA controller if you don't have a drive. And it'll come back with check it, it'll come back as channel zero failed, which is what you want to see. If you see channel zero, one, two, three failed, then you're then it's obviously the whole card failed. So anyway, there you go. It booted up to the A drive. Um, this has been pretty flawless since I made that uh, change on the clock. Let's see. So let's just run a little bit here. You can see it. So it reads, we made a new directory, so it wrote to the disk. Removed from the disk. So anyway, that's just an update on my uh, DMA card. Thanks for checking out my video today.